Good morning, everybody. Happy Easter to you from me. Kids, got a question for you. What is your favourite thing about having a party? Is it the party hats? This is my homemade number while we're on lockdown. Is it the balloons? Is it the giving and receiving of presents? Or is it the yummy food that we get to eat at parties? Now, while I'm eating my Doritos here, why don't you tell those kids who's watching this with you at home what your favourite thing about a party is? Now, my favourite thing about a party is that we get to celebrate somebody or something that they've done. And in our house, when it's somebody's birthday, we have a party, we get everybody in the room to say something that they love about that person. It just makes people feel loved and it's a great way to celebrate. And today, on this day, Easter day, we have got such a reason to celebrate and to party. In amongst all that's going on in the world at the moment, the not seeing our friends, the not being able to go to school, the worrying about people that we know and love, Today, we have got a reason to party because Jesus is alive. He isn't dead, he's risen, hallelujah. And today, we are gonna celebrate that together. We are gonna party together today. But I'm gonna take my party hat off now. Just imagine the scene with me for a minute. Um, Jesus has just died the most brutal death, the most horrible death on a cross. Why? Well because we put him there really, because God is perfect and we are not perfect. And what that meant is we couldn't get to God anymore because all the things that we do wrong when we speak unkindly, when we do mean things, where we're just a bit thoughtless in our words and actions, it just meant that it got in the way of us and God and we couldn't get to him anymore because he is perfect. But God wasn't having that. He made us to be close to him. So he did the most incredible thing. He sent his son Jesus to die on the cross for us with all our sin, with all our wrongdoings, with all the things that we get wrong on a daily basis. Jesus died with them on the cross. So Jesus has just died the most brutal death and then he was put into a tomb and a massive stone was put in front of the tomb and guards were put there to make sure that nobody could get in. And on the third day, on the Sunday, Mary Magdalene and some other women went to the tomb to see Jesus. But when they got there, they realised that he wasn't there. They arrived and he wasn't there. Where had he gone? You can imagine them being like, who's stolen Jesus? Where is he? What have they done with our Lord? And as they were coming out of the tomb, they were met by two angels who said to them, why are you looking for the living among the dead? Jesus had risen, he was alive. So the ladies ran back, the Bible says, to tell all the other disciples that Jesus was alive. He wasn't dead, he had risen. So why does that give us a reason to party today? Why does that give us a reason to celebrate? Well, I'm really quickly gonna suggest three reasons to us why Jesus rising from the dead gives us a reason to party and celebrate today. The first is this. Shout it out to me, what does it say? Forgiven. It says forgiven. Because Jesus died on the cross, because he rose again, we can be forgiven. Because as I said, when Jesus died on the cross, he died with our sin and all the wrong things we do. And when he rose again, he showed that he was bigger than all of it, bigger than our sin, bigger than death bigger than it all. And one account in the Bible says that when Jesus died, just before he died, he shouted out the words, it is finished. Now that wasn't a cry of like defeat, it's finished. It was a cry of victory. It is finished. I've done it. The, the great rescue plan of getting us back to God again, of bringing us back to the Father again, had been done. Jesus had done it on the cross. Our sin was gone. We are forgiven and what that now means is there's nothing 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 that we can do to make God love us any more or any less and he gets to be with us there's nothing that can separate us from his love we are forgiven that is a reason to party today second reason I've got for us to party hope we have hope because of what Jesus did 
at Easter, we can have hope. Hope that because Jesus rose from the dead, one day we too will rise. Hope that because Jesus definitely was who he said he was, then we have hope in all those things, that he is a healer, that he is our provider, all those things that we want him to be, we have hope that he is. And it's not a hope like, I really hope Liverpool are gonna to get to win the Premier League, or I hope that I get to have chocolate for breakfast this morning. Because that's like a wish, isn't it? Whereas biblical hope is almost much more of a certainty. We can be certain of who Jesus is and we can have be certain and hopeful that because Jesus died and rose again, one day we too will rise like him. So second reason to party, hope. One more reason for you this morning everybody. Our final reason that we can party on this day what does this say? Shout it out in your homes. Freedom! Freedom! Because Jesus died on the cross, I can be free. I, I'm, I get to be free. What am I free from? Well, I'm free from the sin, the, the bad things that I do that hold me back. And that means that I'm free to be the person that God created me to be. And also, because God forgave me, I'm then free to be able to forgive other people because I know that hope and that forgiveness that he gives me. So the final thing is freedom, free to walk with God, to be the people he created us to be and to be able to forgive other people. So kids, let's party today in amongst everything else that's going on in our world at the moment. Today we can celebrate that Jesus isn't dead, he is alive. We can know his hope, his forgiveness, his freedom today. I'm going to pray for us. Why don't you close your eyes where you are, maybe hold someone's hand if you're with somebody else right now, and let's pray together. God, thank you that you didn't want to be separated from us. Thank you, God, that you sent Jesus to die on the cross so that we can be forgiven that we can have hope, that we can have freedom. And we say today, Jesus, thank you for what you did for us on the cross. Thank you that you conquered the grave and that you rose again and that you, you died for our sins, you did it for us. And thank you for what that means to us today. Help us to party and celebrate you well today, Jesus. Amen. Amen. So kids, I don't know what that might look like in your homes today to have a party and to celebrate, but I encourage you to do that because Jesus is alive.